Chase across state lines remains on the run this morning. The suspect from Delaware caused two crashes yesterday. The first one on I-95 near the airport and the second crash at Broad in Oregon in South Philly. Our news reporter Trang Doe is live at police headquarters with the latest now on the manhunt. Trang, good morning. Fill us in. Hey, good morning, Rahel and Jim. Dewan Robinson is wanted on multiple offenses out of Delaware, and after leading police on a chase that injured several officers, he's in even more trouble here in Philadelphia. This is 20-year-old Dewan Robinson. The man police say is responsible for this crash on I-95 near the Philadelphia International Airport that sent six law enforcement officers to the hospital with minor injuries. We believe this person is armed and dangerous. Police in Delaware began pursuing Robinson, who was driving a black Acura around 11 a.m. for a weapons-related parole violation. The chase crossed into Pennsylvania and ended with an overturned Wilmington police SUV on the highway. He's wanted here now for eluding police officers uh, based on what happened on I-95, um, eluding police officers involving injuries, injuries both to the police officers and to civilians. That didn't stop Robinson, though, and he continued driving to South Philly, where police say he caused even more destruction. Our bus was stopped here picking up more people, and the black car with uh, the suspect, whoever, came coming around the corner, hit another white car with an elderly lady in it. They slammed into us. Evan Ewing was on a SEPTA bus stopped at Broad in Oregon, where investigators say Robinson slammed into a white Honda. Both cars then hit the SEPTA bus. Before the car even stopped moving, he was out of the car booking it running. Robinson hasn't been seen since his escape, just feet from a Broad Street Line subway entrance. And the last direction of travel that we believe we had is right here on Watt Street, northbound on Watt Street. Dewan Robinson is 5'6", about 160 pounds. He was last seen wearing a white thermal shirt and black jeans. Now, police say if you spot him, do not approach and call police immediately. But for now, we're live outside Philadelphia Police Headquarters. I'm Trang Doe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Rahel and Jim, back to you. Thank you, Trang.